Hey everyone, this is LOL Freddy again with another video for you. I just recently ran into a really weird pro problem where I was watching a movie on my computer, I fell asleep, woke up, and my computer wasn't turning on anymore. Or rather, the computer was turning on, but I wasn't getting a display on my monitor. The monitor that I have is the Asus VG24AQE, um, the same one that you see right here. 144 hertz. This is the one that I have. Anyways, I was connected to DisplayPort, so I went to sleep, woke up, computer wouldn't turn on or display anything. I tried rebooting, and nothing. Um, I switched over to DVI, and everything worked just fine. I uh, went to my BIOS settings to see if there's anything that I could do to fix the DisplayPort, and nothing. After about two hours of actually going around and looking up different fixes, I was about ready to give up. Um, I read on the forums, um, basically just trolling around Google, looking around and going to different, you know, Tom's Hardware forums and things like that. And I eventually came up across a, a, a suggestion that was really just generic and I thought it was kind of, kind of funny. Um, and basically what it said to do was to basically power off the computer, hit the power supply switch, turn it off, and then take your computer monitor and basically turn it off and unplug it from the power source or directly from the monitor's power source and basically leave it unplugged for a few seconds. So I did that. I basically turned everything off, unplugged my monitor, waited about 30 seconds, plugged it in, and turned the computer on. And pretty much as soon as the computer turned on, display port was working again. And I was like, whoa. And I'm rooting around different forums and people are having similar issues with their GTX 1080. By the way, I have a GTX 1080. And I was amazed at how simple the fix was. I mean, people are going around switching cables, switching, you know, RMA in their graphics cards and switching all these different settings on their BIOS, flashing their BIOS. When in reality, all they have to do is basically turn everything off, unplug the monitor, wait a few seconds and turn it back on and it works just fine. At least for me it did. Here I thought it was a cable issue because other people were saying that the cable has to be um, so, uh, type of compliant for it to work and, and all these different things. And I was like, but it was working just fine. Why would it be the cable, you know? And I even tested out with my Lenovo laptop. I plugged in DisplayPort and it worked just fine, but my computer wasn't working anymore. So it had to be basically that my monitor retained some settings with the DisplayPort that whenever I turned the computer back on, you know, wake it up from sleep, that it wasn't picking it up anymore and it only worked on DVI. So yeah. Um, very easy fix. You basically turn everything off, unplug the monitor, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in, turn the computer on, and boom, your display port is going to work again. And that's what worked for me after about two hours of troubleshooting. Um, just to confirm, basically I have proof here that I'm running on display port. I'll just open up here, right click on that, open NVIDIA control panel, um, set up the digital audio, as you can see. Um, I have it connected to my display port number three because it's a lot easier for me to access from behind the computer. And as you can see, it's got the Ancore Communications Incorporate VG248. This wasn't showing up before at all. And to verify, I basically went here, um, display settings, scroll down to advanced display, scroll down to display adaptive properties, and here we go. Same thing. Um, this is me connected to DisplayPort. I actually disconnected my DVI port. The only thing I have plugged in right now is DisplayPort. And sure enough, check it out. You know, it's it's picked up. It's it's basically um, it's showing a signal. Um, I'm running 144 hertz, so everything is working as intended. So yeah, if the same thing happens to you with your GTX 1080 and you happen to have the same monitor as me, this one right here, then basically that's pretty much it. Just go ahead and unplug everything, turn it off or whatever, wait a few seconds, you know, plug the monitor back in, turn the computer back on, and you have your display port working again. So if you've done the troubleshooting for like two plus hours like I did, and you happen to run across this video, awesome. If not, try to share it, you know, um, spread the word so people know. Because uh, it is frustrating, you know, you have good equipment and all of a sudden it just stops working for you. It's really annoying. But yeah. Hope this works for you guys. If it did, let me know on the comments below. Um, feel free to subscribe. I do videos like this here and there. I like to stream video games and I also like to play old school games, you know, PlayStation 1 games and stream those and pretty much stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching the video. I hope this worked out for you. If not, then there might be other issues. If it did, let people know, okay? I hope you guys have a great day.
Take care and bye.